Hello, this is Otter Bricks and Films. Come play a brand new Lego video today. Today I'm going to be unveiling my next Lego section for the collaboration project. And, well, ladies and gentlemen, feast your eyes on the... Shoot. Lego Forest! Hello, this is Otter Bricks and Films, complete brand new logo video today. And today, this is the long awaited collaboration project update number seven. This video took two months to produce. Oh, geez. Yeah, I'm kind of sorry about for the lack of collaboration project updates. I tried to uh, like, talk about it on the live stream, the first one, if you were there. But yeah, I did say the collaboration project would resume soon. Uh, but not this late, but yeah. The reason why I kind of took this long is because I kind of dragged it out. And also, the forest is it's pretty massive. It's a lot of infrastructure that goes into it. We also have filmed it, so that is good. But I won't keep you much longer. And, well, we'll just show the entire process from start to finish. Starting from the beginning. Hello, this, we are back with another uh, video today. This is going to be part seven of the collaboration project. So right now I have planned out the forest section for the build. It's going to be pretty big, as you can see here. We're using the 48 by 48 base plate. And this week, or well, in this video, I just want to complete the forest. That is my main overall goal for it right now. But let's get building. So in this time lapse, you can see me placing down the Duplo. That is for the snot water, which we will do in a later time. Also with here, you can see I'm measuring out the um, 16 by 16 plate with the 16 by 16 plates with Duplo. And with the next time lapse, we just set off with me just like filling more Duplo stuff and just like miscellaneous stuff. Later in the time lapse, we do see me putting bricks on top of the Duplo just to get an exact height on what the force is going to be. The back section, I actually made a mistake because I actually needed to make that taller. So yeah, that's from, so that's about these time lapses. So in this time lapse, we just pick up with exactly what we do. As you can see in the front, we put the snot water in. And I'm starting to plan out the first section, which is basically the beachfront area, with the eight with the eight 16 by 16 plates. As you can see, I'm just gathering more pieces and more pieces to fill in the back section. So the next section is just a random time lapse that I found. I think this is when I was uh, just trying to rebuild that uh, the elevation section so yeah here's a random time lapse that i found so in this next time lapse we just start work on the upper elevation section which is probably the hardest part because we have to we have all these support pillars you also see me taking out and putting back in sections because I messed it up or I just had to put another support pillar in. Also, I'm starting the infrastructure on the hill on by the beach on the beachfront section. 
So after the many time lapses, and after lots of work, probably three or four hours, this is all the work I have done on the forest section. Even though it doesn't look like a forest yet, I'm getting there. I have actually have done a lot, especially with the main infrastructure of it. As you can see, all the support beams making this interlock and everything. So yeah, that was a lot of work. And I'm starting to build the hill here, all along here, in the beachfront area right here. And yeah, that's pretty much the progress on the forest so far. Um, it is, what is it like? 6.15. So yeah. So this is the current progress on the forest set right now. And you can see I have finished the grass section right here. And I have just been slowly working the, my way across the hill. The problem is that I haven't run out of green bricks, as you can see down there. The thing is that I've ran out of filler brick to actually build the support on. Like, this is pretty much all I have. It's kind of sad. But once I get it to here, and I just need to um, fill this all with 16 by 16. I mean, I, I get it why I ran out. Um, so I had to build these pillars. But, yeah, I'm going to have to get some more. What time is it? 9.30. Probably go to bed. Okay, okay. So if you're asking, like, what prob like what my bedtime is, it's probably, like, um... Probably, like... Uh, I try to go to bed, like, at 9.30. Like, right now. But I'm here building Lego. So it's probably more, like, 10. Okay, I'm joking. It's, like, 9.45. So this is the current progress on the build so far. The hill has gotten a lot taller. And the supports are basically just bricks. Um, can't really see it that well, but there's a little glimpse into it. So yeah. And I still need to get more 16 by 16 plates to keep filling up this gap. So yeah, that's the progress so far. So currently I've um, placed down the plates, the starting plates for the forest section. And you can see right there, I've actually gotten a pretty good, or I've gotten some pretty good progress on it right now. And I was just watching Zach Scott. I really like Zach Scott, really good YouTuber. But anyways, that's my progress on the build so far. So I kind of have a little bit of breaking news for the forest section. I actually need to rebuild it. That is because there is a little like gap. It's like not fully flush, like with this other base plate here. So that means everything above it is not very like, you can see it's already been cracking here, so. I'm gonna have to try to fix it somehow. I think the best way is like maybe like switch this these base plates around or something, but yeah, it's gonna be a lot of work. But I guess we're just gonna have to do it. Okay, so I think I just fixed it. So I just replaced the base plates. As you can see now right here, they are pretty much flush just for a little bit yeah right there and now on that side I just switched out the base plates now it should be good now the rebuilding begins um so I just started recording and I was just putting away some parts from taking apart this little hill section and I bumped my elbow into the elevation section I don't know how oh my god well, that was fun. So this is the current progress on the forest section right now. And you can see I fixed the elevation section up there. And yeah, this, um, yeah, I'm just rebuilding the hill right here. 
And while I'm doing that, I'm watch or er, listening to Kirby and the Forgotten Land soundtrack. I really like that game. Me and my brother have been playing that a lot. I think we have like 20 hours on it right now. But yeah, I, I always like Kirby games, especially Forgotten Land. That one's pretty good. Or that one's really polished. Um, I also liked Kirby. I also like Kirby Star Allies and Kirby Super Kirby Clash. But yeah, I also really like Splatoon. I don't know. I just really like watching competitive Splatoon. I don't know. Anyway, that's progress. Um, well, I've never seen this happen before. I have broken bricks in the past, but never have I ever lost a little stud here. That is so weird. See, like, I was trying to, like, put this base plate down, and then I guess I kind of broke it. I mean, this brick was a little old, but I don't know. I just never seen something like that before. Huh. So currently I finished the hill. Finally. And I think it's like 940 or something. Um, also the great thing about it is when you look at the side, you can actually place a plate to connect it. So I'm gonna do that in the morning. But yeah, I'm so happy this is finished. It's so great. I'll see you tomorrow. So currently I just finished the, um, adding the plates on top right over here. And now I'm ready to extend this platform all the way over to here. I'm also thinking about adding another two base plates over here to the end, like hypothetically. That's because I need to add in the small village, which is going to be, um, hypothetically over here. And as you can see, here are the basically the backside or the supports for it. But yeah. So I just cut some base plates, as you can see right here. Got a 16 by 32 one right here. And I placed the 16 by 16 plate right over here. Fits in pretty snug. But yeah, I just use an unofficial base plate because I do not want to spend $8 on a base plate. So yeah. So this is the current progress on the elevation section of the forest right now. And I've got the back section of the Duplo bricks almost ready. So yeah, now we just need to add in six more 16 by 16 plates to fill in the gaps here. And I can actually start work on the actual ground of the forest. I have a lot of plans for it. There's probably gonna be a forest running through it or some um, rock backdrop or something, I don't know. And then probably for the small village, which is probably over here, a hill going down. But yeah, let's see what time it is. Um, 10.15. And yeah, I remember on the last video, it's probably like two or three weeks ago from this recording. My, I remember showing my family, they always commented and I always, always, I always showed the time. And, always, and how I always say, I need to go to bed or something. But yeah, I actually do need to go to bed. It is 10, 15 p.m. We just got done watching a movie. But yeah, I mean, I'll go to bed. You you guys just see me in um, in a couple seconds. So yeah. So this is the current progress for the forest section. I did finish the support pillars. Well, basically just finished them up. I'm starting to put in the little backdrop for the um, little mountain here. And I literally just realized that I just wasted all my time because I need to elevate this by one more plate which is the green bricks i don't know how i didn't realize that but yeah i'm also gonna have to buy six more base plates also i got this one thing and yeah it's just the minifigures from toys r us this is from i think it 
probably can't see it, but from 2017. So yeah, $20. I think this was a good deal. Not really sure. I don't know. Just just seemed like a good deal. I don't know. We also have, we actually bought this one. We have this one from the Ninjago one. Really haven't opened this. Haven't opened that. I don't know. These ones look pretty cool. But yeah, I'm gonna have to fix that right. I'll fix that later. But yeah. So this is a very happy day. I have completed, or I've placed all these 16 by 16 plates on the elevation section of the forest. Which means now I can actually get uh, work done on this. And I'm pretty sure one of my friends do want to help me come over to our house to actually build some trees, because I'm pretty hopeless with trees, as you can see here. But I, so I'm not sure if I uh, showed you this. I did two, um, oh, four more 16, or no, 32 by 32 base plates for the small village here, which is gonna be over here. I'm gonna strip. And probably have like a hill coming down to cover all this. But yeah, that's the progress that I have so far. Hello, and I've got some, um, well, sort of big news. Since this, um, this is pretty much the biggest set to date, I actually need to flip the tables. So instead of going like this way, pretty sure we need to do the long way. So going like all the way over here. So yeah, I'm gonna have to flip the tables. Hope it goes well. I hope nothing breaks. So yeah, wish me luck. So I'm about to start the next section of the build, which is the um, like pathway down to the small village here. And so what that's gonna be doing is basically just like, like I said, just a pathway coming down into the small village and basically a future path going along there to the um, theoretical castle. Here's the designs for it, what it'll probably look like. Like that's like the pathway down to the small village here. Like that's another one. So yeah, let's get building. So right now I start working on the Lego pathway section. So this is my first prototype and this is like one of the things where you think it'll go good. Like you think about it in your head and it's like, oh yeah, that'll be totally great. But when you build it, it's like, it just turns out like terribly. It's just like not even good. Like, so that's why I just like scrapped this idea and I just started the new one. But overall, I think it was an okay idea. Here's a very short time lapse of me building the actual good section. So I think I'm going to start work on the pathway because my original design here, it just did not work. It's not that, it's not that stable here. So yeah, I'm just probably gonna, or well, my brother showed me this, like just like angle the plates downwards. And I think that's actually gonna work. And then just added like support beams right there. So yeah, that will work. And then probably in the future I will put like brown bricks here to cover it up. So I think that is a very good idea and I think I'm going to start on it right now. So this is my current progress on the pathway down and I think it's looking pretty good. So yep, I just made it slanted all the way down and added a couple of supports in to actually keep it sturdy. So like when you push down, it's pretty sturdy. My only concern is that it's actually pretty steep. So the hill's actually gonna probably have to like, come out to like here or something. Which was not my original intent, but I think it will have to, unless I like remove this pillar or something. I don't know, but yeah, I'll, I'll figure out something. So in the next time lapse, I'm just basically just layering or placing down green plates and right now I'm going and right now I'm just like testing and prototyping with a river design.
but yeah anyways i'm not gonna attack for all of this i'll probably just talk about top gun i did see top gun 2 and like i'm just gonna say like the story was it was really good i think the story was a little bit better than the first one but overall i really like the first i like the first one better i mean <laughs> yeah but like when i say like top gun or like the first top gun to like all my friends they're like no 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 top gun 2 is better like i just like i just like the original charm of the first movie like you know like especially like with like the home alone ones are like perfect examples like i just really like the first one better than the seconds so as you can see from the time lapse i have pretty much filled in most of the gaps for this area the only problem is I've ran out of parts yet again, so yeah, I'm gonna have to get some more. But I really do like this pathway. It's, um, I mean, it's not it's not a lot, but I think it adds a lot of detail to this place. So that's why I kind of added it. I'm also gonna be needing some trees because this one tree is not gonna cut it. So I'm gonna have to build some more trees. Also, I'm gonna start work on this hill here which is eventually going to be come up here. And I'm probably going to start on the small village. So on the small village soon. So, yeah, I'm going to have to detail this. Fill in that. Do the hill. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff. But let's get to work. But anyways, I probably stopped talking about Top Gun. So in this time lapse, I'm just starting the next hill section. Which is on the other side. I'm just going to say, like, have you ever noticed, like, homie time lapses are in this video already? I've, like, counted, like, seven or something like that already. I don't know. There's a lot of time lapses. So this is the current progress on the forest section right now. We are currently building some trees. This is one of our trees because I cannot build trees. Penguin Bricks is here. To help me because like yeah i cannot build trees we're also adding this here just a really nice background or like because we're going to be filming here so i don't want all this colorful filler brick there so yeah i'm also writing the script for the underwater section like the brick film and yeah which is right over here we're going to start filming that very soon and then we will take it down, which is going to be very good. Penguin Bricks, you want to say anything? Subscribe. To what? Penguin Bricks. On what? YouTube. Okay. That's all of his words. And that's the current progress. See you soon. So currently we are working on building the studio for the underwater section. Currently it's in its state right now. Um, we were going to film it on the table, but Penguin Bricks wants to tell you something. What happened, buddy? Otto did not clean. Yeah, so if you learn anything from this video, make sure to clean your um, space because we're working on the ground. Is it, is it ever comfortable? Okay, so yeah, we're gonna start filming. This is, um, Penguin, do you want to tell us about the setup so far? There's not much to say. I mean, there's just blue poster boards taped up to a table, a couple of lights on top of Diagon Alley Lego box. Yeah, that's basically it. But yeah, are you ready to start filming, Penguin? Okay, let's get filming. So currently we are done with filming the underwater section. 
And yeah, I didn't do any filming. Penguin just did it all. And yeah, it turns out it was really good. I really liked the animation that Penguin did. So now we're gonna be taking down this set here on the floor. This is the most makeshift setup ever. And later today, we're actually gonna do a live stream. So that'll be exciting. Anyways. But yeah, that's what, but that's, yeah, but that's all we got. So here's yet another time lapse of me building the hill on the back section. You might have seen this a little bit earlier. You can see the regular process of me placing down green brick, then just filler, and then just repeating. I mean, this is all I have to say for this section. So right now I'm about to take down the underwater section. The reason why I'm doing that is because I, we are done filming with it and I need the parts to keep working on the forest. So I need a little backdrop here, which is probably gonna be pretty cool. And I still need to do some of the hill, which is probably for the, some of the filler brick. So yeah, I'm gonna start taking that down after lunch. So I have to go eat some lunch, but yeah. That's the progress. So here's a time lapse of me taking down the underwater section. So I first um, start by like taking all the foliage down. And then I go towards the very tedious process of taking all the studs down. This was, I mean it, I just used the studs to make it look a little bit better. But gosh, it was so hard and so annoying to remove. And you can see I'm just... After this, I'm just taking down the gray bricks for the background. I mean, there's not much to it. It's just gray brick. Uh, I mean, yeah, you can see uh, afterwards, you can, you can see there's a big bag of gray bricks, which was all used for the underwater section. So, yeah. So, now you can see me starting work on the background section, or, like, the hill, or, like, mountain part for the forest. And I just start by placing down the gray bricks. Um, if you're wondering like how I build hills, it's or mountains, it's really easy. The only thing that's really hard is probably starting like the actual foundation. But once you get started, it's really easy. So first, you just like place a layer of gray brick or green brick, whatever you want. You place filler behind it, and then you just keep layering up from there. But now you can see me trying to make a little plateau and i'll add something a little cool i don't know i also use a merp because i do not want to build up anymore and i kind of struggle with this little archway i don't know it's really hard i also have to use a lot of black bricks for the background so, cur so currently i'm recording a time lapse from that phone over there hello and I'm just looking at the back side of all these mo of all these structures, and it's pretty cool to see. Just like this over here and everything, all the structure work, and all that stuff over there. But yeah, it's cool to see all that stuff. Like, we even have a door over here. Huh. But anyways, I'm gonna get back to building. And I'll probably see this in the time lapse. And I'm currently building the cave here. And since I've been using black bricks as filler, some spots, I means I had to use the most extraordinary pieces to fill in the gaps. Like, I like all these slopes. I'm just using the backside like this and then placing it like right there. So in order for it to look good. Yeah, wish me luck. Yeah, it just looks like the most complete, random assortment of pieces. But it still works, so that's good. So now you can see in this next time lapse, I just start up, um, just keep building again. Also, during the time lapse, you can see me texting someone. <coughs> Penguin Burks. But yeah, I mean, this is all I have to say. It's just pretty easy. I'm just trying to make it up to the original height of that, um, like, cliff face or like that dug-in section i don't know 
also i work on the sides just to like just to fill in the gaps it kind of looks bad if you look from that angle but yeah looks pretty good so after multiple time lapses and a lot of work and pieces we are done with this the backdrop for the um forest scene so from a minifigure perspective like here should be pretty good hopefully so yeah i'm really i'm really um proud of myself for doing this and i really like the black and the black or, or, sorry, in the background to just um give it more of a deep or like farther back look and then if we go around to the back side over here and we can see all of the structure work. So yeah, it is, part of it is coming off the <laughs> mock by about, what is it, like three or four base, or three or four studs. But yeah, honestly, it's fine. I did, I think I recorded a clip of me showing this back here, but yeah. So yeah, that's pretty good. Now the next step is to finish the hill over here, connect it all up to here. I need more money because I do not have parts for that. But then after that we'll just work on trees and then, yeah, then I think we're done with the forest section which is going to be pretty good. And we can just get this all filmed. But yeah, that's the progress so far. I hope you like it. And yeah. So I actually realized that I'd never actually explained the rig. So I'll show you. So let me just turn it on. Plug it in. And voila. So basically the rig is basically adding LED lights under in order to give a better lighting situation for here. So yeah, that's basically the rig. And yeah, so I just connect it via a very long uh, USB extender, which hooks up over there, which hooks up to an extension cord, which runs all the way over there. But yeah, that's the rig. I just wanna, I thought it'd be actually a pretty cool idea just to uh, give some more lighting situations. In the forest, since it's supposed to be very dark, these are actually a black light one, so that's pretty good. But yeah. Okay, so this is the current progress on the forest section so far. I have built some decently good, or er, well, good trees here. They're not the best, but honestly, from a minifigure's perspective, like here, they will get the job done. That's what I'm probably going to do. Also, I've been working on the hill here, since this is like basically the only thing that I can really build. It's I'm um, um, shortly running out of parts. Yes, I need to buy some more. Maybe go to the Lego store. But yeah, I'm ever so slightly coming up to the top here so i can probably maybe finish it by next week hopefully also i need to find a new home for this rig here because i can't do there to there because this hill will be filled in so probably just go from here to over here and then just get another desk or something but yeah that's the current progress on the build i hope you like it and yeah see you in the next clip it will probably be in like two seconds so this is going to be the last update until I get back from a short trip. And yes, I packed away pretty much the minifigures up there. So yeah, this will be the last um, update. I will, we're actually going to a cabin with some family members. So it'll be exciting and I'll probably just take some photos. So yeah, it's kind of sad to see this mock. Cause I'm gonna be leaving it for like three days. My baby, no. <laughs> But nevertheless, we'll, we will um, pick up with progress in a couple of days. Like finishing up the hill here, doing the trees and cleaning everything off and getting ready for stop motion. We're probably in the next two weeks or something. But yeah, it's sad to see. It's sad to see I have to keep this mock away. So this is the current progress on the forest section right now. Uh, the hill is almost complete. 
just like another three bricks up and I am finally, finally done with this thing. I'm also at the point and I'm, a, I'm also at the point out that I'm using gray bricks as filler. Like that is the unspoken rule for me. <laughs> like not, don't use gray as filler brick, but yeah. Also, yeah, I've been, also, um, over the past couple days, I've been helping my friend, um, build his D-Day mock. He is a new builder, and I've been trying to help him. So, I'll try to show a picture of his mock currently. But, yeah, it's going great. And, Ryan, if you're watching, keep up the good work. Anyways, yeah, let's, let's keep work on the forest. So, I just wanted to point this thing one out. I actually have a website for the collaboration project, so if I over here and if you go to the about page over here oh oops this is my channels and click the collaboration project website right there you can go to the website and if yeah i saw yeah i'm sure i'm all will look like this but i'll just turn it this way so you can see like the collaboration everything here channels and stuff and yeah also there, there's not just it's not just this so you press the three um like lines in the bottom and you like have the whole thing so you go like individual photos and stuff see that yeah it's like the forest and yeah we just like have that so yeah i just wanted to show you that there's actually a website for the collaboration project so yeah i made it so make sure to check out the, it'll, um, the link for it will probably be in the description otherwise not you can go to my channel right right there for it so yeah so this is an updated look from the back of the mock. You can see it's very colorful with all the filler brick. For some reason, there's like Mario race things in here. For some reason. But yeah, you can see like all the filler bricks and slopes I use for that, for this part over here. So yeah. And then you just have like the supports and everything. A lot of supports, you can just see some filler behind there. And this is like the other hill here so you can see a lot of just a lot of filler brick there's some gray because i was desperate enough to use it for filler but yeah that's pretty much the glance or look from the back side almost up with the hill which is very exciting so yeah so it's been a little while before her <clears throat> it's been a little while since i recorded the last update so i just wanted to fill you guys in so i did complete the hill here and I did place the plates down. This was a little bit difficult, but Penguin of Bricks helped me um, put all these plates down. It was really hard for me, but really easy for him. So, shout out to him. Also, I've been building some more trees yeah, over there. Also, I had to do this ocean, a little bit of an ocean, because in the storyline, it's there's still an ocean, imaginary ocean. So I had to um, scavenge for all these pieces, and I had to use one by ones. Because if I come to the back of the mock quick, oh my gosh, I used a lot of blue, so that was my bad. Also, I don't think I've shown you this, but here's a good look at the back side. So yeah, a lot of filler. I'm while I'm on the back side. I think I might remove the. A little pond here. I don't think it really fits. I don't know. But yeah, probably in the next week or two. No, actually, probably a week. We will probably get this thing done and ready to film. And I'm going. So currently I'm working on the forest. And I'm building some more trees. They look good. Yeah, they don't. But even though they don't look good, they're just purely for aesthetic. Just for like this here. So, yep. You won't really see the top, so, yep. I'm also working on, like, this side here, because when I look at from here, honestly, this top section over here, it doesn't look too good, especially with this, so I'm going to have to figure out something like that. And also with uh, that area, it's kind of uh, plain. So I'll probably add some gray brick detailing or something to try to spice it up, because, you know, it's kind of boring. But, yeah, I'm running a little bit low on parts. Um, got this ocean here too and I think I will actually bring over another table here to start filming this even though it's not complete I'll just start setting it up and yeah just see it but yeah that's progress right now 
So this is, so I just wanted to show you the current progress on the forest right now. And as you can see right now, we have a lot more trees, which I do like. I want a dense forest. So you can see from a minifigure's perspective, it does look pretty dense. And yeah, this is pretty much what I like. I think I'm pretty much done with the, the trees parts. And now I just need to get rid of this little pond here because I really don't want that. And then after that, we we'll just have some final details. Maybe adding some more foliage and stuff and like that. But yeah, that's the current progress on the forest. And, I'm, and after that, we can just get filming. So it's been a little while since I recorded the last update. That's because we have been doing brick filming. We have finished filming the forest section, which is good. And now we just have to film one more section, which I won't tell you about. But also another thing that I did was actually detail the beach. I did this before we filmed, and I think it looks a lot better when it is detailed. Especially using these one by one tan plates. It just really gives it the look of a beach. Also, the reason why there's dark tan in them over here, I tried putting it on the front and it really didn't look good. So yeah, that's why I have it like that. But yeah, in the real world, the wet sand would be in the front, not in the back, but I guess that's right. gonna do it for this video i hope this was worth the wait for me sort of you probably yeah but yeah thanks for tuning in to this video but yeah i mean the next section that we're gonna do is the small village section so that'll be exciting um for the small village i won't tell you what we're gonna do for the buildings but yeah, it's a set that we already have. I made a couple of videos on it. Maybe the last one. But okay. But yeah, a little story on my like. But yeah, the next section will just be a small village. And after the small village is castle, a couple of space scenes, and we're done. We're, we're just done with the collaborative part. I mean, had a lot of fun so far. I hope you uh, learned something from this. I mean, don't make mistakes on the. Well, just do it right the first time. But yeah, I mean, that's the only thing I can really take away from this. But, but yeah, I mean, I hope you really enjoyed this video. I mean, I did. But yeah, have a great rest of your day. And this is Otter, Bricks, and Films. Bye-bye.